Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Wendidimus, aka Wendy, and I am here to do my favorite color series. I haven't uploaded to my YouTube channel in quite a while, so I figured I should use my channel. Uh, I've been streaming over at Twitch uh, with the same username. You can find me there if you want to uh, interact live. So let's see, I have got, these are my swatch sticks I did when I was trying to pick out what my favorite reds were. And I've picked 14 and I also have two extra Zoyas I threw in just because I had an even multiple of four. So uh, let's get to the swatching. See you in a bit. Hi, voiceover Wendy here. We're gonna start with my Zoyas. We have Zoya Carmen. Zoya America, Zoya Soko, and People of Color Rodeo Drive. Now it has a rubber band on the top because at one point it had gotten stuck closed and so I put a rubber band over them to make them easier to open. All right, so here comes first coats. Cat hair. So I have three cats and one dog, and it is just a part of life with nail polish and pets that you're gonna get cat hairs in your nail polish. <laughs> um, so this is Zoya Carmen, and then we have Zoya America, which I don't know if you can tell on screen, but these are both really pink reds. Zoya America is actually kind of dusty too. And it also had a cat hair get stuck in it. <laughs> um, but both of those really come off as pink when you see them in real life. Now this Zoya Soko is probably my favorite Zoya Red Cream. Um, it just has a nice tone. It's probably more blue than the others. All right, and now we have People of Color Rodeo Drive. And the brush on these is not as nice as the Zoya's, um, but you can make it work. All right, we're coming in for second coats in just a second. Here we are for second coats. These Zoya's go on so nice. So I went ahead and sped these up so you didn't have to sit through quite as much. But you can see how you can't see the sparkle from my base coat after the second coat on any of them. So they're all two coaters, including this last one, the People of Color. Here's my little finger dance coming up. So I did this so we can compare. I don't know if you can see on your monitor how different um, Zoya Soko is from Zoya America, but I just don't feel like Zoya America is the the red red that I wanted when I ordered it. So Zoya Soko is much better for me. All right, so I did a soak off, and here we go. We're gonna see if they stain. Carmen was fine. America's okay. Soko comes off fine. And Rodeo Drive kind of came off messy, but it doesn't stain. You can see that. Okay, for my next batch of creams, we have KL Polish Havana Nights. Um, I, this is one of the first indie boutique polishes I got. The Sundays I got in an Ipsy bag many years ago. It's number 18. Claws Out Hot Rock is another blood red color. Um, this brand just closed, which is very sad. Um, and then this one I got in the Dollar Mystery Sale at Color Club. It had no label, it, no printing at all. So it's a mystery. All right, so Havana Nights is this really nice uh, brick red. 
Um, if you have any KL polishes, you probably know how their brush is the widest fan brush ever. Oh, and this brand is out of business too, so don't go trying to buy it. Um, because this, I mean, you can probably find it in a D stash for super cheap, but that is what it is. Um, but yeah, the brush is so thick that it's too fat for my pinky. <laughs> on the other hand, on the other scale, the Sunday's brush is so tiny and thin, it makes it kind of difficult. But uh, this one's kind of a jelly finish, so you can see how it's really transparent at this point on that first coat. Claws Out Hot Rock also has a skinny little brush, um, but I put up with it for this beautiful color. <laughs> And then uh, Color Club, it has their new brush in it. They recently switched to a fan brush. Um, oop, I did some cleanup on the Hot Rock. I forgot I did that. <laughs> Here comes that Color Club mystery. Just a beautiful bright red it's probably a one coater because I don't, well, I would do two. You can kind of see my nail line through that. Here's second coats. You can see I turned the brush sideways <laughs> the second time around. Sundays gets nice and deep with that jelly berry finish. Um, this one looks really great in a strong light. Claws Out Hot Rock gets super dark on that second coat. So it's definitely that dry blood color. Um, I had a little issue with a patchiness right there I was trying to fix. All right, and here's a second coat on the Mystery Color Club. Very bright red. Let's take them off. Oh, here, no, sorry, not taking them off yet. Here's uh, showing them side by side. So you can see on the Sundays, it's still a little translucent because you could see the sparkle from my base. This was not the best base to wear, but I thought it would stain most because it was a matte. <laughs> and I wanted to show any staining that these reds have because I know that's always one of my concerns when I buy a red is whether it stains or not. So, so far, nothing has stained here. These all clean up just fine. Um, I don't go deep into getting them out of my cuticles, but you get it. All right, here's a Zoya Elisa. And this is Dreamland Lacquer O Francesca. Lolly Polish Aries. This brand just closed. And then Dollish Polish, I'm kind of a big deal from their Anchorman collection from a few years ago. All right, so my beautiful Zoya Z-Wide brush just fits perfectly on my nail. One swipe and done. Forgot to open my dreamland. <laughs> So, oh, Francesca is from Polish Pickup, so it was a limited edition, but you might be able to find it in a D stash. It's a nice bright red. With, I think that's a scattered hollow is how it's described. Kind of metallic, too. Lolly Polish is definitely a linear hollow. It's sort of a darker red linear hollow. Um, it's a very thin formula. Kind of needed to clean it up a little bit. I tried just to scrape it off with the orange stick, but then I ended up going in with the cleanup brush to fix that little blob I got there. And the last on this set is the Dollish Polish. I'm kind of a big deal. Just wore this a couple weeks ago and it was beautiful. got a nice uh, 
twinkle in it. It's one of those thicker, bouncier jelly formulas, um, but it really, it holds that twinkle that's in there very nice. Here comes second coats at double speed. Dreamland's coming up. It's going to cover up that one little patch I had on that. No issues there. Lolly polish. I'm going to make a mess and I'm going to have to clean it up. And dollish polish. I'm kind of a big deal. Just a beautiful set of polishes here. Let's take them off, right? <laughs> so they all remove real easily, as you can see. I did not have any glitters in my favorite reds at all. I have some glitter red toppers, but meh. Uh-oh, here's our first stainer. So the Dollish Polish, I'm kind of a big deal, does stain your nail. You can see it stained my matte top coat there. All right, the next set here is Night Owl Lacquer Poppy. Cirque Colors Firecracker. Now this one's one of their Do Good polishes and it's also a magnetic. You can see it there. Picture Polish Double Decker and Bluebird Lacquers Centaur of Atten Attention. And this is their 3.0 version. Okay, first coats. This is the Night Owl Lacquer <laughs> Night Owl Lacquer Poppy. It's got flakies in there. It's kind of hard to see them. Here you're going to watch me struggle with trying to swatch a magnetic. I don't usually use this magnet, and you can see I had issues with where the the pull was coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my other ones, if I just put my finger flat on it, it'll give me a stripe in the middle of my nail, which is what I wanted. <laughs> but this one, apparently, I have to stand it on end to get a good line. So, there you go. Cleaning it up, since I had to do a second coat right away and I flooded my cuticles. Get that out of the way. Just forget it. Stop messing with it. Move on. <laughs> Let's do the Picture Polish Double Decker. You can see Picture Polish has a nice fan brush. I really like their brush. Reminds me of Zoya's. And this last one is Bluebird's Centaur of Attention. This one was super popular in Polish Pickup. They brought it back for the Rewind three times. This was the third time they brought it back, and I think they brought it back another time after this. So there's lots of bottles floating around if you keep an eye on the D stashes. I don't remember what I was trying to show there. Oh, I think I was showing that I didn't need a second coat. <laughs> We're just going to do the uh, another coat for the for the magnetic firecracker. A lot of times with magnetics, once you pull that pigment, the background color ends up a little sheer. Um, 
but it's worth it. All the rest of these were one coders. All right, let's take them off. Poppy doesn't stay. Sort colors. Uh, looks stainy. Oh, uh, but it's not. I just needed a better wipe. <laughs> Picture polish. Double decker does stain a little bit. It has a distinct pink. Oh, but then we got Centaur of Attention, which is the worst stainer of all my <laughs> reds. Uh, well, thank you for sticking with me through all those swatches. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different reds. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I would also love to know your favorite reds. Now, if you are wondering what wins the title of best red nail polish in Wendy's collection, I was able to narrow it down to two because I really love reds, so it's hard to pick just one. My favorite cream, People of Color, Rodeo Drive. It's such a good red on me. It looks so great on my skin tone. It's very opaque. I've had no issues with wear time, but keep in mind, I do change my manis every couple days. So I have no idea if it'll last a week or what other people might want. And then for my favorite specialty finish, we're gonna go with Zoya Alisa. So I just got this in the mail during their uh, 10 for 25 sale. So I have not actually worn this as a Manny yet. So I might be, I might be awarding it the prize too soon, but I have a feeling I'm gonna really like it for the holidays. It's that really smooth metallic finish. Uh, it had no brush strokes and it really has a nice depth to it. And I love that. Um, I should also mention my honorable mention nail polish. This is the one on my hands. This is Phoenix Polish mistress of the dark and this was from the little box of horrors it's a reflective glitter and it's very uh textured and i was doing a test to see if i could put a gel top coat over it to see if it would smooth it out um it didn't make my favorite 16 well 14 polishes that i really liked because of that textured finish, it's just too much work for me. I'm not a big fan of the reflectives. But if you can get them and you like them, they do twinkle really nice, even in regular light. But it's just not my favorite finish. So, all right. I hope to see you guys soon with my favorite oranges. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, please like and subscribe. And that way you will see me pop up in your feed when I release my favorite oranges next time. All right. If I don't see you, have a wonderful holiday season. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.